GitHub Actions is a combination of primitives for users to quickly ship integrations for their repos. Now, some of these primitives include API, webhooks, and authentication. And if you've used or built any third-party integrations, you know about GitHub tokens and how they're generated and managed. If you haven't, check out your developer settings portal uh, under your profile settings, or definitely check out the GitHub documentation or more details on how tokens work. In the context of GitHub Actions, GitHub provides an authenticated token on behalf of the GitHub Actions app. The GitHub token secret is a GitHub app installation access token. You can use this installation access token to authenticate on behalf of the GitHub app. And this is also installed in your repository at the time you include actions in your project. The token's permissions are limited to the repository that contains the workflow. So for more information on that, definitely check out the link for permissions for the GitHub token. Based on the webhook events, uh, you can see where you have read and write access on it. So my team uses a GitHub action workflow that leverages the GitHub token. Uh, we need this access to the GitHub token because it creates a new issue for us once a week. This action I actually forked from one of my coworkers, which is called create an issue. And it leverages a issue template to create this issue once a week on Sundays. If you're curious, I am running this on a cron job. This is one of the workflow events you have available to you within GitHub action workflows. So definitely take note of that, that this is running once a week on a Sunday at 10 AM. Well, 10 AM my time. It's a, uh, it's all based in UTC. And just want to point out that this is actually not 10 AM. It's 10 one. You definitely don't want to run your cron jobs on the top of the hour. Zero, zero. Always want to pick a random minute. That way you're not competing for compute time against everybody else running actions. And another tip, you can actually hit the edit button on your workflow, hover over the cron task, and it will actually tell you what time is actually running. So here you can see it's 1301 UTC on a Sunday. So I hope you found this insightful. If you want to find out more about encrypted secrets or GitHub tokens, uh, definitely check out the GitHub docs, as I mentioned before.